hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel welcome today i'm gonna show you how to make a very delicious spaghetti jollof it is a very simple and quick recipe but very delicious and your family will enjoy it for this recipe i'm gonna be using a packet of spaghetti then i'm gonna heat up some water and bring it to a boil while the water is heating up i'm gonna prep the veggies for the sauce i'm gonna be using two bell peppers two red habanero peppers and one medium sized onion to make the sauce so if this is your first time on my channel or you are a returning viewer and you are not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button and on the notification bell so that you can get an alert whenever i post a video like and share the video thank you and god bless you let me also use this time to send a very special shout out to all those that have subscribed you guys are the best i love you thank you and god bless you When I'm done cutting everything, I'm going to blend it and set it aside. The water has already come to a boil. I'm going to add salt. Add enough salt to make sure the water is salty. If not, the spaghetti is not going to taste good. Then I'm going to add the spaghetti. Feel free to break yours if you prefer it that way. But I'm just going to cook mine like this, the Italian way. <laughs> So I'll just let it cook a little bit, then push the remaining part in. Then I'm going to let it cook for about 7 to 9 minutes. With the help of a spatula, I'm going to push it in so that everything is submerged in water. So while it is cooking, let us make the sauce. I'm going to be using palm oil, but feel free to use any vegetable oil of your choice. I'm going to pour some in a pot and heat it up. When it becomes lighter and starts producing smoke, you know it is hot enough then i'm gonna pour in the pepper mix and cook it down i'm gonna let it cook for about three to five minutes before stirring it and i'm gonna be repeating it frequently after every three to five minutes after cooking it for a few minutes i'm gonna start adding the spices so I'm going to start with a teaspoon of ground ginger, a teaspoon of curry powder, two seasoning cubes. Then I'm going to stir everything to combine. Feel free to use any spices of your choice. If you don't like the ones I used, you can use the ones that you prefer. The spaghetti is ready. I cooked it al dente because I'm going to cook it some more. So I'm going to strain it into a bowl because I'm going to be needing the liquid later. So back to the sauce, I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt, add salt to your taste. But don't forget the spaghetti is already salted. Like I said earlier, you have to stir it frequently. If you don't stir it frequently, it is going to burn. It is just like cooking stew. Depending on how well you want to fry your sauce, to some people, this is okay. But as a proper worry woman, this is not. I have to fry my sauce properly. And I've noticed that the longer you fry your sauce, the tastier it is. As you can see, there's a remarkable difference in the appearance of the sauce. It is well fried. Now it is time to add the spaghetti. I'm just going to try to mix everything together. Then add a little bit of the water the spaghetti was cooked in. If you have meat or chicken stock, it is preferable. But since I ran out of it, the next best thing to use is the liquid the spaghetti was cooked in. So I'm going to keep stirring until everything comes together. Then add enough water to cook the spaghetti so that everything will come together nicely like jollof. Spaghetti looks a little bit dry, so I'm just going to be adding more water until there's enough water to cook it. So 
so i have added enough water i'm just gonna cover it and let it cook for a bit but there's another thing you need to know about spaghetti don't just let it cook for a long time without stirring it if not the bottom is gonna start burning and there's still water in the pot so you have to keep stirring it just the way you stirred the sauce it is still a little bit wet so i'm gonna cover it and let it cook some more finally the jollof spaghetti or spaghetti jollof is ready doesn't this look yummy delicious like i said at the beginning it is very easy it cooks in no time also very inexpensive and extremely delicious your family will enjoy it let me tell you a little bit about this recipe it is inspired by a local house dish known as talia talia is a locally made spaghetti by the house people it is very delicious i used to buy this at school during break time it is so delicious that i had to recreate it if you are a spaghetti lover or you are looking for a meal inspiration why don't you give this recipe a try i promise you you will not be disappointed instead you're gonna enjoy it so thank you guys for watching till i see you next time stay safe stay blessed i love you bye